I'm still extruding. This is Neil Underwood or SpaceX ULA. In this video, I'm going to show how to take an object printed at 0.35 millimeters using a simple piece of equipment that you already probably have sitting around to make it look like something like this. So what this is, is a glass jar. I picked one up at Walmart or you can pick it up at any um, shop you can find one at. Um, I use glass because it allows you to actually see the process of the part. Um, in the very bottom you can see a little pool of acetone and your RepRap. What you're going to do is set your um, RepRap for um, a 110 centigrade uh, ramp up. You're going to get it up to temperature and let your jar get warm. Once your jar gets warm you'll probably drop it back down to 90 centigrade to hold the um, all the acetone in vapor. Um, you're going to then uh, leave your part in there for around 5 to 10 minutes or whenever the um, um, object looks like it's finished. So to give you an idea of what this does, this is a squirrel printed at 0.1 millimeters. So this is pretty much the gold standard as far as layer heights. 0.1 millimeters is what the replicator and a lot of the other high-end rep wraps will do. And this is what one of these looks like when the process is done. So as you can tell, it's been completely smoothed out. It actually looks quite injection molded. Um, also, you can go with a putting nails on the bottom of it, so that even makes the bottom of it smooth. So, total cost for this setup was um, a $2 jar of acetone and a $4 jar from Walmart. Um, nothing fancy, you're actually using your heated build plate as your, um, um, as your heater. And also, if you'll go ahead and pull that out, you can see how far in just that one minute it's actually got. So as you can see, it's already moved pretty far along in one minute. After about five to ten minutes, it'll be done. Well, I hope this helped. Um, have a good day.